Hello, I'm Satoshi Yamamoto. Welcome back to my time bench. Uh, today I'm going to do um, uh, one of my uh, brand new patterns for uh, 2017 season. Uh, what I call a thumb down emerger. Uh, another good pattern for uh, PMD Hatch at the Livingston Spring Creek. And then the, the story you know, behind you know how I came up with this pattern is, uh, you know, uh, when I was just uh, uh, checking my you know stock of flies and preening some, you know just uh, playing with my fingers, I uh, this uh, just see like a regular compared down here on a straight hook, and I was just pushing like this way, you know, and uh, and then kind of flaring like this. I thought this is a really pretty pattern, and then uh, this is a deer here, but uh, you know. Uh, as you know, I have some CDC, you know, wing, CDC sparkle down or CDC compartment like this. I thought that's really pretty. I kind of wondering, um, how is there any way I could, you know, uh, express and reproduce this kind of wing silhouette? You know, pushing like with with my thumb, you know, like then. So that's. Um, um, that that's uh, that's how I that's a kind of uh, story behind the development. Again, this is a straight eye hook like this one is compared on here. But also, um, this is one side smaller. I tie with a uh, curved hook. That's what I'm gonna do. So, okay, I tie and I'm gonna set my. I already did a uh, pre-made here. Um, I'm doing this on purpose for now because uh, I'd like to introduce for the tail. I use a Z wrong and then uh, uh, on top of the Z wrong uh, shock, I add this uh, uh, mallard frank. This is dyed like a dung, water dung, it's called. And then and then just basically two two materials for the tail. And then. Uh, as always, tacky biots. I'm sure you know how how I handle these things, you know, from the previous videos. And then now I'm gonna set the um, set the hook, rearrange the hook so this rest of this side is straight, you know. I mean, uh, uh, parallel to the you know bench. So I'm gonna make a thread base. And the first, what I'm gonna do is. Um, I'm gonna put out this uh, basically with this a uh, white CDC, and then as always, I all, only want the fibers. I'm gonna you know stack up the fibers, and I'm gonna tie in just the fibers. Well, I'm gonna tell you right now, this is going to, going to be an indicator. Come back here. And then I just I clip already. Then uh, here's some uh, natural CDC. I do the same thing. This is uh, as always. I buy you know this from a uh, bulk CDC. So I don't buy uh, you know what's called the oiler puff because that's too uh, just too little and too expensive. To stock up, you know, uh, guys' fry box. Okay, again, I can clip right now too, but also I think I need one more. I do the same thing. I, I'm gonna cut off this uh, medium size. I'm cut off the tip. Then uh, so cut off in the middle. Uh, one over the other. And put up all, gather up all the fibers, and I, I only tie in the uh, uh, fibers. This should be enough. And then, if I'm just tying only fibers, around here should be a really clean cut. Okay. So now this almost looks like. Um, uh, well, compared to what sparkle done. So, what I'm gonna do here is, I'm gonna 
all right I'm going to move my sled in front of it and then it did I can push back like this then again but the, um, before I do that it's actually more convenient to so cut this one like a uh, as you would do on the uh, sparkle down, CDC sparkle down, CDC compare down. Cut with a curved scissor. Make a you know desired uh, length of the wing. And then now I'm going to like the, for the namesake. I'm gonna push down all the wing with the thumbs here. Okay, this is how you want. How you know uh, I want to look my. Uh, I want my fly to look like. I'm gonna move my thread backward. This is your thorax position. Like I would do an Atlantic salmon fry, uh, you can uh, uh, flatten, you know, unwind the thread to capture the uh, base, very base of the wing, and then at the same time making a nice thorax plus head. Then uh, push push and spread exactly with your thumb here so it should be looking like this then we now you see the reason why why I tie the white CDC uh, at the beginning because I'm folding back so the white CDC is on the top uh, it serves as an indicator just clip these uh, excess fibers here so that's pretty much it. Bit of a wax and then form a nice head. I I can do this 1618 uh, either straight hook or curved hook but uh, honestly, I'm not sure if I can do this for size 20 like a Betis uh, brewing make a nice little head um, thick rocks and a small head We finish. Here we go. Uh, as always, I'll use a uh, CDC oil and then uh, uh, dust such as a frog's funny on the wing. And this 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 is the uh, uh, this is actually the killer <laughs> killer fly to me. I actually with confidence uh, when definitely fish are feeding, I use this just uh, just. Uh, just as by itself good because it can be taken as both duns and emerges you know because of the silhouette and um, uh, the weight uh, half sink you know the body and tail is gonna sink it can be taken as a merger too so then pretty much all kinds of light condition this is very visible because of the dark natural uh, natural uh, CDC and when it's needed this white CDC definitely shines uh, on the water so uh, to our eyes, I mean. So, uh, try this and let me know how it works. Um, thank you for.